To some, this might seem like an unlikely combination to review. The Legion 5i Pro versus the Razer Blade 15 Advanced model. Now, just kicking things off, let's talk about the specs. This is the i7 12700H with the RTX 3060 and 16 gigs of RAM, and this is the i7 12800H, the RTX 3080 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM. This is why I'm putting this video out, around $2,500, ish or under for the Legion 5i Pro and around $3,600, almost $3,700 for the Razer Blade 15 Advanced model, okay? But when you look at the performance charts, which we're gonna do right now, you're gonna see that these two models are fairly similar in performance, okay? Let's jump right into the 3D modeling benchmarks because I feel like that shows us really well the close differences between these two laptops. So as you can see on the chart, these two laptops are really neck and neck. In Autodesk 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, they are right next to each other. So what this is showing us is though you're having a higher spec out inside of the Razer Blade 15, because it is such a thin and light package compared to the Legion 5i Pro, you're getting more performance technically per capita or per you know spec out of the Legion 5i Pro because it is able to cool slightly better. So the thermal management on this laptop is based on a little bit more thermal throttling than on the Legion Legion 5i. Okay, so that is one area that I'm noticing right off the bat. So you can't exactly compare apples to apples because when the components are inside of the computers, we get a different expression based on the parameters that the brands had to go by in order to make sure the laptop doesn't burn up, right? Next, let's take a look at After Effects. Now, After Effects is an area that we still saw very close performance benchmarks. However, you may get better rendering out of the Razer Blade 15 just based on the higher gigabytes of VRAM, okay? So it might have less struggles doing rendering than the Legion 5i Pro. But again, because they had to throttle it based on some of the thermal limitations, we're seeing that they're very close. Now, moving on to Photoshop, this is where we started to see it slightly shift more towards the Razer Blade 15 by about 100 points. Now, tomato, tomato, 100 points going from 900s to thousands, you really won't see that big of a difference. So really, either way, these two laptops will be great inside of Photoshop. Now, video editing is where we saw a bit of a turn towards the Razer Blade 15. Now, this was really just based on the playback for 6K B-RAW and 6K RED footage. We saw zero drop frames from the Razer Blade 15 for 6K B-RAW and around 300 for the Legion 5i. Pro. Still extremely respectable out of the Legion 5i Pro, especially that it has half of the VRAM gigabytes. Now, if we go towards the export times, we're going to see very similar export times, and actually some of the export times were a little bit better out of the Legion 5i Pro, especially the battery life export time. As you can see, it was about seven minutes on battery out of the Razer Blade 15, and then it was about four minutes and 50 seconds out of the Legion 5i Pro while on battery power. Also, the Legion 5i ran cooler because it's a bit of a thicker laptop, has more area to disperse the heat and send it out of the laptop. The only areas where the air is actually able to disperse out of the laptop is along the back of the chassis here, above the keyboard deck, and then these two fan vents along the bottom of the chassis. Whereas on the 5i Pro, we have vents along both side panels, the back panel, and the bottom cover of the laptop. So it just runs cooler on all fan modes, which could be a benefit to you if you like to have a cooler laptop to the touch. The Razer Blade 15 got a little hot to the touch as I was running some benchmarks on the balanced and silent modes. As I went to boost CPU and high GPU mode, which are more like custom modes inside of the Razer Synapse Center, I saw the thermal temperatures drop on the keyboard deck and internally. Um, but if you're running some of those lower uh, fan modes, and you're pushing your laptop, it's gonna heat up the keyboard deck quite a bit. Didn't experience that as much on any of the fan modes for the Legion 5i Pro.
Now, if you're curious about the exact availability and live pricing of these two models, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, one area that these laptops start to tie on, but then the Legion 5i wins out in the end is battery life. So if you look at the battery life results, both on productivity and streaming battery life, they're almost the exact same. Around seven hours for the productivity benchmark battery life, and then around five to six hours for the streaming video battery life. But then as we go to Photoshop and video editing, the Legion 5 iPro does a lot better. We get about five hours for Photoshop and about three and a half hours for video editing compared to the Razer Blade 15, which has about two hours and 20 minutes for Photoshop and about an hour 57 for video editing. So slightly more on the go friendly for the 5i Pro. Now, like I said, the reason I made this video is to show you that you can get just as much a performance out of a more bang for buck package. If you want a premium laptop with great audio, a awesome, more low profile keyboard deck than compared to the Legion 5i Pro, then the, obviously the Razer Blade is gonna be a better buy. It just is a better laptop as far as the build quality and premium experience goes. But if you want great performance on more of a budget, then the 5i Pro could be a great purchase for you. Now, here's a quick sample of the audio between the two laptops. Then I'm gonna play a sample of me typing on the keyboard deck and using the trackpad. So you're gonna hear all the experience of those items. As far as connectivity is concerned, they both have great connectivity, except the Razer Blade 15 has an SD card slot and the Legion 5i Pro has a network jack. So it kind of depends on your preferences. Are you somebody who hooks into, you know, an ethernet cable often and, you know, that is a priority to you? Or are you somebody that really doesn't matter as much and you're more on the go and you wanna have an SD card slot? So that's kind of the choice between these two models. But really, the main review difference I wanted to point out was the fact that you can get equal performance out of a laptop with lesser specs based on the fact that it's inside of a different chassis and the manufacturer is able to push the components in a different way. I just think that's really interesting. I love the variety of choice that we have in the laptop market right now. It makes the consumer the winner, and I hope that you make the right choice. So links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.